What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the DC Collectibles DC Icons Nightwing. Here we do have Nightwing in the packaging. Really excited to have this guy. As you guys all know, Nightwing is one of my favorite comic book characters of all time. Here we do have him in the packaging. You can see he does come with a few accessories, some interchangeable hands, his Eskrima sticks, and then what looks like a grappling hook right down here, but we'll get that when we see more of it. You can see it says his name right here. He is part of the Icons line. He's the 24th figure of the line. We do have an image of Nightwing's emblem, DC Icons. He is from Hush, which is a really good Batman story. I recommend you guys all take a look at it. Anyway, we do have other figures of this line. We do have Nightwing, of course, Supergirl, and the two-pack of the Super Sons, Superboy and Robin. Really excited to have Nightwing in hand, so what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him open up, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Nightwing posing out of the packaging, and I have to say, really, really loving this figure. This is probably one of my favorite Nightwing figures that I own. He does have a couple of issues, but we'll get more on that when we look over the figure in a little bit. But he does come with a couple of accessories. For starters, he doesn't get an alternate head, but he does come with an alternate set of hands. He comes with a total of six hands. Uh, the only pair he really has are the fist hands that you see on him out of packaging. Then he does have a pair of hands meant to hold the escrima sticks. And then he has another right hand that looks just like the other one, and then it looks like his left hand is giving an okie dokie or just style pose hands. I don't know exactly what you would use this hand for, but it might be used for one of his accessories, but that's all the alternate hands he does come with. He also does come with the two escrima sticks that you see right here, and they're just done in this really black plain plastic, and unfortunately he doesn't have any place to store them, which kind of sucks because I really would have liked it if they could peg onto his back and you could have them displayed with them in like a holster back here. I don't know, it is a little unfortunate, but his final accessory is this uh, grappling hook piece that you can have him holding one side in and then it has like this battering. It looks really, really cool. It's an actual string, so be aware that you might accidentally tear it if you stretch it too far, but it's a really cool accessory. I do like the way it came out. But that's all the accessories that Nightwing comes with, which you really don't need too many accessories with Nightwing, but he comes with the essentials. He comes with the Eskrima sticks and a pair of hands to hold the sticks, so it is what it is, and I do like it. But overall, really like this figure. Now, let's actually go on to some of his details really fast, because he, even though he looks simple, he still has quite a bit of details on him. So let's get him standing straight up. Now, I'm actually quite partial to the Nightwing with longer hair. I, I'm really not a fan of the short hair Nightwing, but it looks really nice. They sculpted it pretty good. You can see the mask is done in this semi-gloss, and then his eyes are painted really well. He also has pink lips painted, which it doesn't look pouty. It doesn't look crit strange. It actually looks really cool. Really like the way they did his hair. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the shorter haired Nightwing. I prefer Nightwing with longer hair. But that's just me, but it does capture light Nightwing's likeness and looks really good. Moving on to his torso. I do like the fact that the blue is a semi-gloss, just like the mask. And you really can't see it, but it is sculpted into the... His costume is sculpted, so the blue part is actually sculpted in. It's not just a paint overlay. You can see uh, the sculpt lines in it and it goes all the way down to I believe the forearm right here but other than that the hands I believe are just flat or just painted. They don't have those sculpt lines. They might but they pre I'm pretty sure that they are just painted. They're not sculpted or anything. And then he is just wearing a black costume and it does look nice when we get to his boots. You can see it is a high gloss for his boots, which does separate his tunic from his boots. So I really do like that. You can see on mine there's a little bit of a paint scuff right here, which unfortunately that's the way mine came. But it's probably the only big error on there. I guess we can chalk that up to battle damage. I don't know. And switching the hands is 
pretty easy. You just pop it off right here at the wrist. You can see there's still a little bit of excess plastic and then you can just move it to a hand that you want to have them displayed with. Like so. So switching them out is no problem. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get a quick comparison of Nightwing over here. Let's scoot him back and then we'll bring out the DC Universe Classic Nightwings just for comparison. And here we have the DC Universe Classic Nightwing next to the Icons Nightwing and it's really hard for me to say which one I like better. They both have a lot of things about them that I like. I love the way that this blue is a darker shade than this one. This one's kind of like a lighter blue. But overall, they're both really nice figures. And I really can't decide which one I like more. Um, it's a really hard choice for me, but I don't think I can act honestly give you a straight answer right now because... This is a new one, but this one holds a, certain, a special place in my collection. But with that comparison out of the way, let's actually move on to Nightwing's articulation. He does have a ball joint in the head, which works pretty well. He can look up a surprising bit. He can look down all the way. He can tilt his head side to side, so really good pivot there. Really good range in his head. Does look left and right, which there's nothing hindering his neck. Arms on a ball joint, they only go out to about there, but that's about what we've been seeing with the Icons line. They do a full 360, a little stiff on mine, but they do a move. He has a bicep swivel, which works pretty well. Double jointed elbow, which gives you a little better than 90, works really good. He has a forearm swivel, which I don't know why they included it, because it kind of does break up the sculpt right there. So forearm swivel. But then we also do get a swivel right here in the wrist. And they have a hinge. Every wrist that he has has this hinge and swivel in it. So you don't have to worry about switching them out to have them have a certain piece of articulation. He has a diaphragm joint which goes to the side pretty well. Goes forward and back. Okay. Also does swivel on that peg. He also does have an ab crunch right down here on his lower ab which goes back. About that far forward quite a bit a little better than the icons that we've seen he has a standard drop down joint so you can see his leg can drop down which gives you a pretty good range there leg can't really swivel but legs go forward back and out and again they are on that drop down hinge he does have double joint in the knee which gets really good range on the knee right there he has a boot swivel which i'm okay with because it's two different types of plastic he has an ankle hinge, which works pretty well. It goes up and down, no problem. And forward-facing pin for rock your ankle. So all the articulation you'd expect from the Icons line. And really, really excited that we have Nightwing. So what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Nightwing posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like this figure. He's a welcomed, welcomed addition to my collection. I am a huge Nightwing fan, like I said. Overall, I think the s sticks could have been done a little better, and I kind of wish that this hand and this hand had a little more difference behind them, but they do have a subtle difference that this one does hold the s stick better, and I'm guessing this one's for his grapp grappling hook. But anyway, if you can find this guy, I really do recommend you pick him up. You won't be disappointed, especially if you're a Nightwing fan. Now, I did pick up my Nightwing along with Supergirl and the Super Sons, at my local comic book store and they were really nice enough to get me these guys for a really good deal. Originally they are going to cost you about $28 at retail and unfortunately DC Collectibles is going up in price and they're not releasing as many waves anymore so as we haven't been getting too many of these figures and that's reflecting in the cost but if you can track this guy down I really do recommend you pick him up especially like I said you're a fan of Nightwing or just want to finish off your icon set because after this wave we got Rebirth Superman and Batman and then Doomsday Superman and that's it we might not be getting any more icons line so it's safe to say that this line is probably winding down which is a shame because what I have I really do enjoy it but with that being said, guys, I'm King Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other DC collectible reviews, and if there's a figure you would like to see me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. <laughs>